States shirt, uh, thinking about I was in Jamaica this time last year, and uh, if things pan out, we'll be back again next year to help them celebrate their 50th year of independence, but before that, we've got a review to do. Today, we're reviewing the brand new cigar from CAO, the OSA. What does OSA stand for? Glad you asked. Olancho San Agustin, and this is a proprietary 2008 crop that uh, they thought so much of, they decided to use it as the wrapper for this cigar. Uh, it is surrounded, uh, or it surrounds a Connecticut Broadleaf binder and Honduran and Nicaraguan filler. Um, as you know, or may not know, CAO is now under the umbrella of General Cigar, and uh, this is the uh, first cigar produced by CAO under the watchful eyes of General Cigar, uh, Rick Rodriguez, who is CAO's new product development head, uh, collaborated with a hand-picked group of uh, uh, experts to blend the OSA, and this is his uh, result. So we're going to Give it a shot today. Brand new from this year's IPCPR in Las Vegas. Again, there's the band, the cigar, what have you. Uh, unusual uh, band and uh, colorful. Uh, this is the, they call this the Lot 54. It is a 6 by 54. Now, uh, let me move something out of the way here. What this, uh, these cigars, are? Oh, here we go. Um, three sizes of this cigar, the Lot 54, the Lot 50, which is 5 by 50, and the Lot 58, which is 6.5 by 58. So let's get right to this review of the brand new OS8. Alright, real quick before we start, I uh, wanted to give a little bit of a price point for these cigars. This is the Lot 54 that we'll be having today. It's a uh, retail suggested price, six and a quarter. Or 156.25 a box, so it's not ridiculous. The uh, other two sizes, the lot 50, which is the 5 by 50, is 5.75 a cigar, or 143.75 a box. And the lot 58, which is a good size cigar, six and a half by 58, is 6.75 a cigar, or 168.75 a box. So you're looking at about six or seven between the uh, uh, but our average of six to seven dollars for this cigar at the shop, so it's not too bad in this uh, economy today. That's not bad at all. Um, so let's get right to it. Let's, let's, let's now, if you notice one thing, this is a very light brown uh, wrapper. Uh, if you hear people talk about oily wrappers, how shiny, this is not one of them. This uh, um, actually is very. Uh, uh, well, I hate to use the word chalky, but it just doesn't have that oily sheen to it. It is a nice looking cigar. Very medium brown, just an average brown color. So, uh, let's see here how it cuts. Okay, test draw. Very good. Uh, basically effortless. I've had two of these cigars previously, so I want to see, uh, to get an idea, see how this stacks up now. Sweet notes, got some pepper there. Tastes a little citrus. Seems like some richness in the 
and the spice, the, uh, there's a little almond there. So, just lit it. Let's let it sit there for a minute and we'll come right back. Let it try to get itself ready for the CAO OSA Lot 54 review. Well, just got started here, about a half inch less than that into the cigar. And uh, the flavors, uh, what jumps out at you are uh, grapefruit uh, citrus. Uh, and when I say grapefruit, grapefruit citrus, it is pretty much like slicing open a grapefruit, throw a little sugar on it if you like that type of thing. That's the initial flavor, even right down to the slight bitterness, not bitterness in a bad way in a cigar, but the exact bitterness that you have, uh, the, the, the citrus bitterness of a grapefruit is exactly like that. The first couple I had had that, and I thought, well, that might be just an accident. I don't believe it is. And there's also a, a, a semi-rich uh, roasted almond right at the back end of that citrus. So it makes for a nice flavor. Very sweet, very fruity, you know. Um, the finish at, at this point is rather mediocre, and it's one of uh, like, like uh, raw almonds. So it's not a long uh, lingering finish at this point, but as you can see, we're not even a half inch in. Uh, the pepper is nice on both ends, the draw uh, and on the finish. It's, it's, that's the part of the finish that you recognize the most because it's lingering on my palate now. I can feel it. Um, so that's where we are at this point. Nice even burn, but of course we just started, but uh, it's a good start if you like a uh, nice uh, refreshing citrusy grapefruit citrusy sweet flavor this, that's what this is starting off off as and uh, we'll be back with updates later on well we're about an inch in and i can confirm now that all the initial flavors i reported are still there Satisfied with that uh, 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 determination. Um, someone uh, posted on Facebook uh, when I wanted, I told him I was going to review this cigar. Uh, Ash is good and tight here too. Was this mild, medium, full? Well, I would say this is a medium-bodied cigar at best. Uh, it's not going to knock anybody down, but uh, the thing about it is, so far, is the sweet grapefruit. Um, that's what you initially taste, and then at the back end, the uh, the almonds, which seem to be a little richer. Uh, so it's, it's rounding out very nice. Um, that's about it for right now. Uh, I'll be back with another update, but uh, there's nothing really else to, uh, else to report. The cigar is the, exactly the same uh, as it started out. And we're about an inch to inch and a quarter in. So, uh, uh, more updates as they are warranted. Well, we're about at the midpoint, just about. Um, changes, uh, the Almonds are richer. Um, the grapefruit is exactly the same as I described it before. But the uh, almonds on the tail end have now moved a little further, closer to the front end. Uh, they mix well with the grapefruit, but they're richer. So that's a nice change. The finish is now a little longer, uh, with a little more richness to those almond notes. Pepper's been the same. Good on the front end, good on the back end. Um, so we're just about uh, at the point of being, having a good cigar here. Um, one more quick note about uh, if you're like me, uh, you probably have never heard of uh, the OSA or the Olancho San Agustin. Um, Olancho is actually in the San Agustin Valley of Honduras, and that's where this wrapper comes from. So uh, now you know. I'll be back uh, as we get a little closer to the end, but uh, right now the cigar, in my opinion, is very good. Um, it's a very good first uh, edition uh, 
by General to uh, oversee CA, CAO's uh, production. So uh, uh, the OSA Lot 54 going along nicely. Be, be right back. Well, we're now back to the band, which I have to remove. Um, Cigar hasn't made any major changes, although at this point it's feeling a little fuller bodied now or tasting fuller bodied. It also feel you can feel it in, inside. Um, there's the band. Other than that, everything's still about the same. Uh, it's all about the grapefruit. But the grapefruit and the almond have now uh, merged to just about being 50-50 split on the uh, on the draw. That type of spice is just about even. Uh, pepper is still good, not overpowering, but it makes uh, it's, it's it's a nice amount, and um, the finish is about the same. So I will be back to wrap this up and to score it here shortly. So there we are. down to the waning stages the, um, the only thing that's changed here recently is the almond notes have now become secondary again they're still rich but the uh, grapefruit is still king it is the leader and if you're like me and you like a lot of citrus in your cigars uh, I find that very pleasing uh, the grapefruit is very much like an actual grapefruit it has all the characteristics it has the little bitterness but it's sweet as if you'd put sugar on it. Um, the almond notes are secondary and, and rich, so they add a lot to it, and the pepper has been very nice. Um, I've enjoyed the cigar a lot. I think the uh, CAO uh, people and uh, General Cigar can be very happy with this cigar. It reminds me somewhat of the LX2 in its uh, citrusy and, and richness, but uh, uh, I don't feel it's quite up to par with that score. So that being said, the uh, CAO, LX, uh, CAO uh, OSA uh, Lot 54, I'm giving a score of 91. I've enjoyed it very much. It's a, uh, it should be on shelves now or very soon. It's due out in September. Uh, so look forward at your local shops and 